watching out for you. This is KZI 9 News at 11. A major decision is front of a Douglas County School Board, one that could determine the fate of the district. Thanks for staying up with us tonight. I'm Brian Richardson. The Yonkala community came together to learn what can be done to save the district's two aging schools. KEZI 9 News reporter Sarah Hurwitz was at that meeting. She's now live in the studio with a look at the options in our top story here at 11. Sarah? Well, there are a number of options on the table, and the school board will need to decide quickly if they want to save their schools from closing next year. Now, passionate parents and the community came together tonight as architects presented their findings in a detailed report. They focused on the district's only two schools. Both the elementary and high schools have roofing issues, stormwater problems, and the high school needs a full boiler replacement. The ultimate outcome, they need major upgrades that could cost upwards of $7 million. And in the next few weeks, the school board will need to decide if they use the $275,000 in maintenance reserves that they already have to repair the schools for one year or potentially merge with the drain school district or pursue a school bond to help with the upgrades. The community says it's not an easy decision. A lot of uh, the parents have gone to school here, so they talk about, they remember when they went to school here. You're looking at a, a generational thing for a lot of these small towns. I went to school here. I mean, a K through 12, I graduated from Yonkala. I would hate to see there no longer be this school district. I, but if that's what has to happen for the kids, then yes. I heard some of the um, options were to go to combine with like North Douglas and stuff. So I don't, I don't think I like that. Now, North Douglas and Yonkala have been long rivals, but the community tonight said it's not about creating a war against Drain. They just want to save their schools. And this really is about saving the town's identity. One community member who spoke at the meeting said, quote, save our community so we don't become a ghost town. The community is meeting Wednesday to continue that discussion. Live in the studio, Sarah Hurwitz, KEZI 9 News.